thank you for the in invitation here to this um, a nice gallery, Juliet and Claudia. Also, uh, thank you, Antoine, um, for um, all these uh, uh, nice uh, things that were already produced for this uh, Dixit 4. Um, I'm very happy to, to be here also in, in, in person. And um, yeah, we would like to show you a bit um, what um, Dixit of four is about. Um, and um, so as you can see, and as Juliet told, this magazine is always um, opposing two different um, positions. And, and in this case, it's architecture that is opposed with, um, with, um, with images. And it's very important to also say in the beginning that there is like a team behind um, all of this. And so when we um, decided to, or when Jan decided to, to do this competition, um, it was not the usual case that the architect starts and then later on in the process, um, other professionists would join the process. And also the images would not be made like, let's say in the last two or three weeks, but to say we form like a team that uh, consisted of uh, Jan, um, Joao dos Santos, Maria Urbait, the studio Urbait, and uh, structural engineer Mario Manotti, and myself, and to have really a process going on with this, um, with this competition project. Maybe Jan, you can tell a bit more about the competition itself. Okay. Um, yeah, good evening. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, kids. Um, well, I think the competition was uh, quite simple. It was uh, a competition launched by the ETH in Zurich. And the brief actually was uh, stating a kind of uh, exemplary uh, building construction concept, concept that would uh, exemplify like the university, you know, kind of architectonic uh, avant-garde of, uh, of, uh, of what the building process, what building construction for research and education today could be. And uh, so we kind of like, as, as usual, we made the mistake that we took that uh, serious and uh, uh, followed the brief and uh, were excited of, uh, you know, proposing something that uh, apparently was um, a bit uh, challenging in the way uh, uh, architecture in general would be conceived, and um, uh, we started with uh, with uh, with uh, it's actually building for um, uh, startup young startup firms uh, in Zurich like Aspa uh, ETH, a spin off of some in uh, Panes and things like this. So it, and and um, we we. We thought that uh, I'm just going to say something about the project, and then maybe you can go on and say something about collaboration. But the project in itself was conceived as in two ways. I mean, one one thing was like they were talking about flexibility uh, in the brief, and uh, that it would, this would be very important, and and uh, this avant-gardeistic uh, construction method. So. What we thought is like flexibility in plan is always a bit, yeah, it's very obvious what that means. It's that like, means a genetic raster that you can, you know, uh, put different walls and, and, and so on and in, in a flexible way with, with a facade that follow the, these, uh, these increments. And so we thought, uh, well, what, what, if, what if there would be a, a three-dimensional flexibility, like flexibility that is not only in plan, but the flexibility that is also in, 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 in section. And uh, on top of that, we were thinking about the construction method, which would be a little bit different um, uh, than, than usual. We were thinking about three-dimensional flexibility in combination with a, with a very lightweight uh, construction and the very, let's say, uh, uh, quick and, and uh, prefabricated uh, construction uh, process. And uh, that's, why, that's how we actually uh, conceived the project. Maybe later I can explain a bit more in detail what this meant, but this was kind of like the starting point of the, of the project itself. Um, and so, as said before, the, um, the, the whole 
um, competition progress was con was conceived as a working together situation. So that from the beginning, um, in this case, um, I started to to involve myself in the production of um, of images, and um, there were like 200 or so images produced alongside the competition process. And of course, they had different um, um, uh, goals to, to, to follow, so to say. So the image was not used um, in the end to represent something. So as one would do that in the end, when the project is finished, we produce the images to show how it would look like. Um, but they were also used to document the, the, the process of, um, of the competition itself. We used them to test um, scenarios, test light quality, spatial colored qualities, go into the construction um, detail. And you, as you can see, there is also different ways on how to, to use the digital model. Sometimes as here, it's really used as a bare white structural um, model without materiality to, let's say, test proportions and uh, structural values. And um, in other situations, I have to flip through a bit. Um, we were even, let's say, testing images of a, of a possible construction site, how the building would look like when it uh, would be built, which also helped to, to understand the, the building process or the, the um, the design of the of the building itself, which is very much about how it is how it is conceived and how it is put together, and I think what's important to say about these um, images um, when when we look about on to digital image production and we think on the last let's say 10, 15 years, of course the production has increased enormous and the uh, um, detailing has increased enormous. It's nowadays way easier due to the capacities of hard and software systems to, to produce um, more and more accurate uh, images and also um, render images in, in real time. So as, I, as this is a profession of mine, um, I can say that this has very much shifted in the last 10, 10 years that, um, that before it was really producing the image when the architecture is done, is done. And now it's, it's way more, um, building a complete an environment and almost shooting photographs inside of this uh, inside of this digital model and also what it allows is a way more accurate uh, calculation of light reflections materiality so we can really use this uh, image as a new kind of um, tool to um, test and um, very efficiently test architectonic uh, space Yeah, I think that uh, uh, just quickly to the project itself, but then maybe also a bit to the to this uh, to the to the publication. I mean, the project itself, in, in a way, as I said before, about three dimensional flexibility and and um, and uh, this uh, lightweight construction method. It's basically a ten segmenty uh, construction with uh, a perforated concrete uh, plates and four columns. And uh, that stands uh, next to this uh, parking because we're not supposed to touch the parking. And uh, so the, the whole building stands on these uh, four columns. And these plates, these perforated plates, were like lifted on site to the uh, respective level that they were supposed to be at the end. And then they, were, they would be hanged with these, um, with these uh, cables. And then there's tension cables and compression elements. Uh, like in a classical tensegrity system. And then these holes will be filled with prefabricated um, wooden, wooden plates so that at the end, uh, uh, depending on the need of fields, of spaces, um, uh, the, the floor plan will be more or less complete. And this kind of like process oriented construction <laughs> building uh, process was was embedded in this um, in this uh, in this in this uh, building, and uh, it was supposed to be from the beginning conceived as a different kind of construction process. But it was also conceived to be a long term projection, like what if the building, how is it going to be in fifty years, 
and uh, how is it in the construction site? And so these images about the construction site were, were kind of interesting because they, in a way you couldn't say, you couldn't really tell, is it under construction? Is it uh, being renovated or is it being demolished? No, I mean, and then this the, the kind of this temporal aspect of, 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 of the building state in itself, uh, binds back to this uh, kind of circular economy, circular construction, um, uh, cyclic, cyclic construction methods that we're, we're now uh, interested in also in terms of sustainable uh, development of uh, architectonic concepts. And that, then when we were, when we were um, uh, uh, asked or David was asked to, 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 to make a contribution for this uh, Dixit 4, we were contemplating on what this could be. And, and, and uh, then uh, there were two things. I mean, from our side, there were two things. We were thinking like, uh, it should be simple, no? It should be simple in that way that when one looks at one spread, like this would be one spread, uh, one understands uh, the reader understands immediately uh, kind of what is it about. I mean, only just, by looking at it visually, there should be like a like a direct impact. It should be not so that but one has to read left and right and to, and to the end. And so each spread in itself would have some type of meaning. And this simplicity and this directness we were interested from the beginning. And then and then the other uh, thing was like, uh, what could it be about? And uh, we were we were. Yeah, we were all struck in this in this kind of architectonic um, thinking of how to conceive buildings for the next uh, future generations to come. No, and this all involves process-oriented thinking, uh, cyclical construction methods, uh, sustainability, reuse, all these things. You know, uh, refurbishment and so on. And 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 so this process that is not like. I look into the back, I look into the, to the present or into the future, but that there is a kind of a continuous stream of, 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 of time embedded in this. This was then leading to the title of uh, process. And then, of course, process in the building, uh, actual building, process in the design process, the process also of making images. Um, and so all, all this uh, came together into this uh, uh, structure. And then at the end, well, we chose one project for the for the for the publication because we thought this project in itself could stand exemplary ex in exemplary way for this type of uh, conception, architectonic conception, structural conception, and digital image making. That this would be like like a whole uh, package, and then I think we 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 this is really. Uh, an amazing thing in some ways because uh, 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 typically, you know, at least for your work, uh, it's typically like this: we, the architect works, and then two weeks before the hand in, we we, we order uh, two images or three images, and then we put them on the on the on the on the board, and then, and, and 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 that's it. But like in this case, you know, this project we really started from the beginning to work with uh, you as, uh, as for, for the images and with Mario as, as, as construction and with Joao for the architecture. So, 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 so like this, we, we, we produced uh, 200 images instead of two. So it's like <laughs> a factor of 100 no? uh, that we produced more uh, than, than typically. And I think this, what, this way, I think this, this documentation is a quite of a unique, uh, unique uh, opportunity for us uh, to, 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 to make this uh, uh, kind of, uh, to, yeah, to have this in a different format than, than just in a drawer, because obviously uh, it hasn't been, uh, uh, it's not going to be built, so. Maybe we should, we should even say that, <laughs> we should even say that this competition was greatly lost. <laughs> No, no, no. I, I never talk about I never talk about lost competitions. This, this is like the most silly expression that you can have. Uh, uh, we didn't win, but losing is not is not this. Day, the word losing is not in this. I mean, at least for me, we didn't win. We didn't lose. I think I didn't win. <laughs> and we didn't win. And we did not even not lose. It was also the possibility, and this is what. What I, what I like a lot about this publication that when I do images or in, in general, when you produce a lot of things, there's a lot of value also in the produced things in all these fragments and elements that you have somewhere. And usually they get lost, they go, go into the trash or into the archives. So it, 
it was nice to say for this for this publication mm -hmm. we don't show finished elements we don't show finished drawings finished images nothing in this in this, in this publication is something meant to be published in in, uh, in a regular case. So also all the images you see they were just done for internal um, discussion and um, and still they have still they have a, to me they have they have a certain value they have um, also in this in this image matching pr process already there are aesthetics, there are certain desires, how you imagine an image to, to become at the end. It's not just that um, it's shooting a situation to quickly control something. It's for, for me, it's always also in these images that are part of the, of the process to already think um, in a photographic way, to, 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 to already try a bit, although the, the building is not yet finished or it's not the finished product, to, to already find out um, how could the final uh, result be in the end? And this helps a lot to produce many of these uh, of these pre-rendered um, um, images. And uh, yeah, there's one. I think there's one important aspect to this that, uh, like as I said before, typically the process of image making in an architectonic uh, uh, development. That uh, your your input is is then limited to okay I I we chose we chose this uh, viewpoint and it's going to be this material and this light and so, but in this case, you also became part of the the the, 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 the development of the mm -hmm. team. No, that 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 uh, you were making through your work. You were making uh, different proposals. You were making uh, different studies. You were making. Uh, Alternative uh, alternatives that were uh, kind of originated by the by the analysis of in, in mm -hmm. through the image. So the image itself was not just a depiction of what you know how it should look like, mm -hmm. but it was also a tool to to mm -hmm. develop uh, once from your side you made you made proposal of how it could be, but also of course from our side to to see now this is not the way it's supposed to be. So we changed. Uh, and I think this, this, this for us, when sometimes uh, people talk about visualizations, they say, ah, but, you know, it's overkill, you know, there's so many digital images and, we, you know, we are architects, we know how to read the plans and we don't need uh, images, we, we, we forbid images. This is not how we see it, no? I mean, we see it as a, as a tool of development uh, in space and, and to really uh, uh, Become much closer to something valuable than 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 a different way. So we, we could say it's another means to develop an architectonic project than to build physical models. When you want to build physical models, you could look at the thing like this. But I think the image itself is also a very valuable tool of development, much more than a representation. I think mm -hmm. this is uh, that's why uh, yeah, it's, it was so nice to to do this. Uh, with you over such a long time and not just at the end. Yeah. I mean, I have to say, I, I belong to a generation that uh, started to grow up with the, with the computer. No? So this, this computer uh, three-dimensional world, uh, I, I had a quite fast relationship to, to, to this and started with 14 or 15 years to, to, to program some, some, some things. So when I, when I studied architecture, this has always been part of, of the way I perceive and design and develop architectonic, architectonic things. And um, what I like a lot about the, let's speak about the digital model, not, not, not so much the image that is produced, but what we see here on the right, when it's inside the com when it's inside the computer, and what it does is that it's um, very immediate. It's very fast. So you can, when you want to have a window somewhere, you can see how it looks with a window. You can take the window away again. You can make a column. You can um, test density, room heights, and so on. Of course, it's not replacing a physical model, but um, it gives another dimension how to quickly look at, at, at things. And sometimes I have the impression when you build a physical model and you spend, um, let's say, a whole afternoon and building this model, you somehow fall in love with it or you, you, it would be a nice product. You put a lot of effort and work into it. So you have a different kind of relation. Then you have to two seconds of clicking the mouse. And, and I think this creates a certain distance that is very positive to 
to uh, in the development because you you are uh, way faster that the, the the time frame or the time span is way shorter than than when you when you work with other media. Of course, the model is very important. I'm not uh, re um, reviewing it. It's just that I have the impression that this kind of working with the digital model <laughs> has become um, like an another new possibility of a, of a tool in, in architecture, like the drawing, the, the text you write about the project um, and, um, and the model you can, you, you can, you can build. Mm. Yeah, but we use it a bit, in the process, we use it a bit different, like, uh, because it used to be maybe in the 80s or in the 90s, no, maybe more in the 90s, that there was this possibility to, 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 to for the computer to, to build uh, completely complex uh, uh, shapes, no, that mm -hmm. would have no, would have no reference to any kind mm -hmm. of, uh, yeah, non-digital reality, and then then people started to build like uh, Frank Gehry or you know whatever the constructing uh, constructive architecture was 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 due to the, the possibilities of these early digital uh, mm -hmm. uh, tools, mm -hmm. and this is not I mean uh, this is not how uh, what I'm interested in really I I, I think and this this for how we use it, it it's it's uh, it's a uh, it takes a lot of discipline. It takes a lot of rational discipline because in the computer there is no weight. No? I mean, mm -hmm, if you build mm -hmm, a model, mm -hmm. and it doesn't hold; it will, it will fall. Mm -hmm. In the computer, you don't see if it holds uh, or not. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's 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 uh, it's a different thing. But but this means that and this maybe this image is nice on the left. This is a drawing, an early drawing I did when we tried to analyze the sensitivity structures. You see these kind of hanging. Hanging um, um, uh, columns that were on the pressure and then the, the, the cables that are under tension. And we tried to kind of like find the rhythm of a matrix of, of this 78, uh, or no, 18, or was 18 increments that it was with 72 uh, divided by 4 gives uh, 18. So this is the kind of like the mathematical background of, of this uh, section. And this mathematical background the, set of the section was developed uh, together with the structural engineer. And this was really taken serious into the model and you build it you know, according to, to, to this. So there was no kind of, um, I mean, and all these points are precise. So, so, so it just means that, that you, know, you build this model uh, on this rational accuracy. Uh, is based on a, on, a, on a true kind of uh, structural uh, 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 conception uh, is different than to to do parametric uh, you know architecture that would develop through the digital mm -hmm. model on a parametric basis. So so mm -hmm. we we still work uh, that way. You know that we mm -hmm. we, we conceive it uh, mm -hmm. we conceive it in a, in a, in, a, in a systematic way in a, in a, based in the real world, and then we transform it into the digital model and we create I images from that and i think this is a, this is a, this is still a, a bit different so in, in this way it can be compared to to mm -hmm. the actual physical model but it's 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 based on numbers so and I, yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't really you know value the physical model more or less to the digital model. I think it's just two different kinds mm -hmm. of, 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 of processes. And in this one, we, we chose this one because honestly, yeah, if you look at the facade here and if you look at all this complexity of elements and the thousands of pieces and so, if somebody builds <laughs> a physical model of this, uh, yeah, you have to have also the resources to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how many sticks are there? I, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to I can ask the computer. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so we could also speak a bit on how how we put this um, the, the magazine together, of course, with the help of uh, Antoine. Mm -hmm. um, so it's always two opposed sides, and um, I was thinking for my part to 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 just put everything in. So to not, let's say, exclude, exclude products that were made, but to put all the images in a, in a chronological uh, order in this magazine so that you can see what happened in the beginning. And sometimes there's images that look a bit the same where we see slight, 
slight differences, but that it creates like an atlas of uh, of imaginary that that goes goes through until the almost finished stuff that would come at the end of the magazine, and this would be opposed with um, with, um, with with drawings um, that are scanned uh, on the other side from 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 the architect's work, so that we also have two types of um, let's say quality or, or yeah, quality that the images come directly out of the computer. It's like a digital product that we can use and just print it. And the drawings and everything that comes from structural architects offices would, would have like uh, this scanned or in, in a way a bit more temporary um, uh, appearance in the, in the magazine so that it's also quite obvious to distinguish these two parts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, what you see is, is a, a pre-selection. This is not the, not the finished, uh, finished thing. It's still in, in, <laughs> in progress. Um, yeah, it's, it, 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 in the beginning, we were not so sure what this is supposed to be this kind of double language. And, uh, then I remember somebody saying, well, well, what kind of strange idea is this, you know, to, to make something with two different uh, voices and so on. And, and I never questioned it so much, but I could understand the criticism. And but now I, I feel like it, it kind of makes sense for at least for, for, for what we do here. It's on one side, there's this kind of naive, crude uh, uh, search, non-linear search for something that at the end would make sense, this kind of like approaching things and making sketches and reworking the sketches and rethinking the, the thing and trying to get to where one would like to, 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 to get. And then there's this other side, which is helping, visually helping to get where we want uh, to get. And, and so that this, this, this kind of like superposition of these two, two temporal streams in a way, uh, I think it's quite, quite beautiful because on one hand there is the thought and then the other hand is the image and, and they are kind of in relation. And, 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 and so you can see the sketch is actually producing the, the spaces and uh, it's not us who produce the space, but it's actually the idea that creates the space. Uh, this I find quite uh, mm -hmm. beautiful now mm -hmm. in this, in this, in this uh, sort of position. It's, it's almost like the, on the right side, it's, it's the desire for something that, or and let's say the idea you have, something you have in mind that is, that is very abstract, that is just reduced to some, to some lines. And, uh, and when the image pro is produced, and this is of course then, with the computer mathematically uh, correct, it's like the result. You cannot qu you cannot really question it anymore. This is really how the geometry uh, will look in space. Yeah, and in, in also in, in our case, it also shows a bit how we work uh, because we were not so talented. So we usually work in a rational, abstract way to conceive a structure that at the end makes sense. But we don't really uh, say it has to be blue or it has to be big or it has to be round, round it has to be like this. Uh, we don't shape it too much. No, we, we let it. We let it. The space come as a, as together with the with the idea. But it should develop kind of like a flower on its own without being too much told how it's supposed to be, but it would grow out of, 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 of an idea and, and, and not too much of a formalistic uh, device. Uh, so this is also something that is quite nice now that it's almost automatically produced by somebody else what we actually uh, developed. And uh, so in this respect, it also, it also tells a lot about, about how, we, how, we, how, we, how we work. <clears throat> Maybe one aspect that I... I appreciate it in this kind of um, in this kind of process is that it was also possible to produce images like like that that you that one would definitely not use in the competition. I mean, you could use it; maybe it would have been good. Huh? 
to but to to produce uh, images that create certain certain scenarios. Of course, you cannot see, see a lot, but it creates an image of what what would what would happen if you pass by this building with a with a car and take a take a photo. It, it shows more the light the light body of this building seen through the trees. So this allows also this um, um, pr production of, of experiments or also also we, what, we, what we did not use like a, a, a pass by with a, with a car or, or I think this one we used somehow. Um, this is also quite a nice aspect now about this magazine to, to show this, to, to, to to show these tests and uh, also let's say desires for images that um, that are not always possible to use in a regular uh, job with a client where you have to follow certain rules or have to show certain things and then it's just two images at the end and it's quite early decided how they look like and what they should be and you follow this path and in this in this case it was like uh, eight or nine weeks of, of course, not constantly working, but eight, nine weeks of, of being on the project that also allowed to, 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 test, uh, to test scenarios or to also make images that, that would reveal, let's say, the, the technical aspects of the, of the building with all the pipes that, that go through it. Um, and yeah. How, how much time do you want to assign to this? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a, as you wish, I mean, it's... Uh... Okay, okay. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't really have much more to say. No, I just, want, I, I just want to, to say two things. I just want to say for me, what I said before, I can also go ahead and say, uh, I'm in a very privileged situation at the moment now that I sometimes I have ideas and then uh, what you said before, you know, there's Rao in, in, in the office who, who actually then uh, developed this uh, together with me and, and I have uh, some ideas and then he makes it uh, more beautiful than, than, than I could I could make it uh, myself. And I had, we had somebody new making it even more uh, beautiful <laughs> than, than I could have uh, thought it would be. And then we have uh, all the Dixit the team who make it even even better now that we have a possibility to print it and to have it in a, in a kind of a, I mean at least for this project in a kind of a very good uh, very good uh, format and so I, I thank you very much <laughs> for that and I really look forward to, to this uh, print and uh, and uh, I, I also when you one looks at all this work here I feel like uh, you're doing a great. Uh, uh, great things and very interesting, uh, nice work, and it's also a pleasure to to work with uh, where is he, Antoine? Hi. Uh, uh, Hi. Super. This is also the same aspect, you know. We you, we make something and you do something, and it's even better than it's expected. Mm -hmm. So this is when I am happy when this happens. You no, know? uh, when things are better than you expect, and this. Yeah, and very privileged in this sense. So for me, I'm I'm fine, but we can continue. I no, don't know. Maybe, maybe <laughs> maybe not. Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, well. I think it was uh, very interesting to hear you uh, talking about this, uh, the subject of your project, and also how you perceive the the work in the publication. I think what you just said is nice. I mean, it's a teamwork. Mm -hmm. What I feel mm -hmm. as well, and we are also privileged to in every project to be able to uh, work with um, people like you, you know, and then we discover topics, we discover mm -hmm. ways of uh, working and sharing content and, and mm -hmm. thoughts. And this is uh, the meaning of what we are doing in Kayatid, mm -hmm. I would say. So thank you. And maybe, well, I stop sharing. Maybe, uh, maybe there are some questions here or yes. Uh, I would uh, actually have a question because I think the whole, if I understand it right, the whole logic about it would be interesting that you kind of the concrete basis of uh, the building and if you need more program, more size, more rooms, you could just add a floor. Did I understand it right? You fill kind of the circles to have a whole new floor. Is it right? Yes, yes, it, it could be both actually. It could be, it could be, we could add uh, slabs and slabs and slabs and slabs because it's kind of endless depending on the building uh, law and right restrictions. 
but yeah, I, I it was over over the over dimension, so that it means it had a lot of empty holes mm -hmm. to to accommodate the program that was in the brief. So if we if we could have filled all the holes and we could have filled more uh, surfaces, mm -hmm. but that would mean we would have le had less uh, less vertical uh, spatial experiences. So so I kind of we try to balance it in, in some ways, but um, yeah, I, I think I think. What was interesting in the project is that it, it was conceived as a building system uh, rather than a, rather than a, a, um, yeah, a kind of a spatial proposal uh, fixed in itself, but it was more like a like a like a like a building system out of uh, like almost like a I sometimes feel like it looks a little bit like Fisher Price, this uh, this uh, tool, kids tool from the 70s or so. Uh, with all kind of different elements that are all similar and a lot of holes and things mm -hmm. cables to turn fishing and things like this. Fishing technique, fishing technique. Fishing technique. Like a building kit in a way. Yeah? Um, but then, of course, it's not like a building kit because it's not replaceable. But, but at the end, everything is, is, is interdependent. So it, it was like this that every cable. You know, you couldn't take one cable away or one 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 post away, or so it it it, it was a very precise thing at the end. But it 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 started as a kind of a building kit, and um, but uh, yeah, it's 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 a system to 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 that would be that would be able to accommodate much more. You could enlarge it, you could make it smaller, but and you could also fill the holes to make it more uh, to take on more surfaces. This was this was um, yeah we were looking for a principle really like a building principle a construction process that would be an alternative to 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 conventional um, building constructs uh, building processes so then we I mean it was like supposed to be do those four posts first and then you would just cast uh, on site these slabs and then you, with the holes and then you would lift them up. To the place that they were supposed to be one after the other until you had enough uh, floors and then you would order the circles to fill them in uh, in different places and then yeah the elevator staircases and the facade yeah i was asking this because the uh, just published um, 10 studios maybe you know the, pro uh, the mm -hmm. project it was a somehow similar i guess similar project with Kind of a similar logic. It got me kind of now uh, thinking about. You it. mean the tower? Exactly. But this is yeah. different. Uh, yeah, I think because they 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 did more that they precasted like a a, sh a shelf with with triple or double or triple height, and that you can um, um, supplement that you can build things in inside of. Of course, it's also in, in a way a flexible system. But it's not. I would not consider it the, the same because in the in the project of Jan, this flexibility is like goes through all the all the all the all the floor plates for all the stories. Um, I, I think they are comparable, but I would not call it the, the same systematics. You know the tower. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well. The, I, yeah. I think there's a the, well. Maybe there's wood and concrete. That's probably. The, <laughs> The, the closest uh, relationship, um, but no, I think the this tower is uh, there's not much to it. I mean, this this is buildable, but this has the attribute of non-buildable. So, <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, so in this respect, uh, it's not true. It, it, I think uh, I trust Mario that it would be buildable. But uh, it had the, and at the, at the, in the in the review it had the attribute of not being non buildable, and this is why it was uh, excluded from the uh, thing in the first place. Uh, so, but I think this uh, tower of, uh, of uh, so that you mentioned, uh, this is uh, very much buildable. I mean, there, I don't see much uh, innovation in this sense that I in, in construction uh, methods. It's it's uh, it's. Uh, it's a, it's a nice project. I'm not saying it's not nice, but it's not it's not a, it's not a, it's not it's not comparable in this in this respect. I mean, I don't I don't want to value it better or worse. It's just a different uh, a different. Uh, it has to see. It has to the focal point on the, on another on another on another, another dimension. 
Thank you for the beautiful presentation. Um, as I understood it, the, somehow the, the design of the structure of the structural system is kind of the design of the building itself. And um, the way like the, the producing, producing the images and the way the, the way you work together from the beginning, uh, and like in an iterative uh, process. Mm -hmm. Um, I find it like uh, very well like uh, uh, expressed through all this uh, uh, documentation and all this uh, data. Uh, but I wanted to ask the question about what's the relation with the structural engineers, and um, uh, is it also an iterative process with the structural engineer? How does it kind of how does it start? And how does it uh, inform somehow the, the way you design the structure and this uh, the system mm -hmm. and how it evolves? Is it like um, this kind of in a similar way than you do with the image making? Just a, just a question. Yeah, thank you for the question. Yeah, we, it's uh, Mario. I don't know if you know Mario. Mario Monotti. He's a, he's a very uh, very <laughs> lovable person. He's a very nice uh, engineer. So um, he, uh, Mario always goes like this. I have an idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Uh, let's do it like this. And then in the Zoom and the Zoom generation here, he would always make a drawing like this on the, on the <laughs> table. <laughs> and then we would put it on the screen and he said, I have an idea. Look, at, do you see it? Do you see it? And then we were like, yeah, but you know, we were thinking maybe not like this, but not more like this and so on. And then he said, oh, okay. I have an idea. <laughs> so it was always like this. And, uh, and uh, uh, no, we wanted, to, we told him from the beginning what we wanted, how we, we saw it and what we don't want. And we, 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 we kind of had this, um, uh, and, uh, and, and, and when we were at this point, oh, it's last you time. Well, I have just this, maybe this um, draw. When we were at the point where we, where we, I mean, there were different versions of, of, of how to, 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 to do it, but when we were at the point of this, uh, no, this hand drawing, this sketch, or section, or some, this one, this one, okay. where, we, where, we, where we were at this point, um, we, knew, we knew that we would like to work with plates, uh, with cables, and with posts. And then we would want to go into, uh, we want to develop a 10 second structure together, but that would not need more than that. So there will be tension cables, compression posts, and plates. And uh, so we were, we were, yeah, we were asking him, do you think this perforate concrete slab in, with these circular holes? And so in terms of, pre-stressing and in terms of, uh, uh, you know, how to, how to conceive something like this, do you think this makes sense? And then we, this is how we kind of work together. And then he says, yeah, I think it makes sense because it works like as a beam, you know, and then this is like this and so on. You can put the cables like there and construct. And so, and, 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 and the, the, the integrity structure was an iterative process because it was bound to, you know, how much differentiation we want to have between the floors, how should it look like at the, at the, at the top, should it stick out of the, of, the, of the roof, should it be below the roof, uh, how, how should it reach the facade, how are we going to, 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 to the frame of the facade, because the, because the, the outer edge of the, of the slab was, was always a problem because we, we had the, the columns were, were in the middle of the, of the house, so we always had to reach the, the facade and the facade also has to have a beam so so uh, how did then at the end actually the facade itself is 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 it helps a bit to carry uh, the edge of the, of the of the plates we tried with different uh, sections of of the concrete to, to be thicker at the at the edge or thinner at the edge so and how to uh, how to connect the cable to the to the to the outer edge of the of the slab and all these things this we did together and he he, he really uh, uh, designed it through to the end of the metal connection at the at the slab also the 
the connection of the of the of the columns to the to the slab, this cross in the in the in the, in the circle, this metal piece, and so on. So we we yeah we 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 really went through 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 every almost everything, and uh, we thought that at the end uh, it, it could work, but. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> but yeah, of course, you need you need an engineer to of this of this category to of him uh, to to do something like this it's not uh, it's not evident uh, that, it, that anybody would follow this uh, this process and be, be able to 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 at the end make it uh, yeah or 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 to make us believe that it could be uh, working <clears throat> There was another question. <laughs> Thank you, Fred, for the presentation. I was somehow wondering since since you make images of basically every step of the project, and, and you could do you all at the time. Mm -hmm. What what would you expect from this project if it was revealed? I mean, you somehow look. You somehow know exactly what it's going to be during the <laughs> building process, <laughs> and when it's done with this car view. <laughs> so, would you just expect accidents to happen, or would you <laughs> expect to have problems so it's not going to look like an image? Uh -huh. No, absolutely not. <laughs> um, <laughs> Actually, there's both. There is projects that turned very worse when they were built, and there's even projects that looked in the end nicer, as in my images when they were when they were built. And this is a quite interesting uh, question, also because um, with the image itself, you make a notion of something. You also create a desire that this, when competition um, will win, people anticipate no they want they want to see this build and sometimes these images stick around for two or three or four years and people start to follow that path that things have to look like in mm. like in the image and i even have this experience that later on clients called and said oh, what is this furniture we want to order that furniture you put in the image <coughs> or that a lot of things that um that I just did in the image because we had to do something in the in the short amount of time, making a balustrade or doing a, pe a beam here. Sometimes these things just made for the image, they remain later on, even landscape aspects. Sometimes the, um, the visual artist has to invent things because there is a short amount of time. So I propose something. And it really happens that they take this then out of the image and turn it back into a plan. So it's, it's almost like a reverse uh, process, which also um, indicates that images, of course, are manipulative, though they can lead to a manipulation yeah. in a very positive or also negative uh, aspect. So, and also with photography, it's, it's, um, I had the same uh, experience that sometimes mm -hmm. I saw images of, um, of the buildings I did renderings later on in magazines that were shot the exact same way. Um, I, I, I see this as a compliment because obviously there, I have done something right or found a sweet spot. I don't know. Um, but this is quite interesting to see what happens afterwards with these um, with these uh, with these images that have a certain, I don't know, notion in them. Yeah. Thanks for the question. Um. I just ask if maybe online there is somebody that has questions as well. Just you can show yourself or you can also write uh, on the chat. It's also possible. No. <laughs> I also you have a question, sorry, <laughs> of course. Like, like within the context of uh, Swiss competitions, this sounds like a, a, very, uh, a, a very smart way to approach it because uh, like, uh, at the end, the output of this competition, the images are very important to the output of the competitions. Now also, uh, with all the open competitions that there is in Switzerland, when there is a jury that has to see uh, 200 proposals, uh, mm -hmm. like, and it's almost like 
after a certain point in the project, it's almost you could ask whether uh, the plans and other architecture that is, uh, is uh, the main part of the project is supporting that, or whether the architecture is actually a tool to build the image. But so it sounds like a very smart way to, 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 to approach the competition. But I'm, I'm wondering uh, also what it means for uh, your process, Jan, as, a, as an architect, because uh, compared to, to uh, kind of old or more traditional process, it must be uh, very disruptive to get so much visual information about what you're doing because. Uh, a lot of times you make a project and then you get a and then you get surprised by the sometimes sometimes that bad. Um, but uh, I imagine that you sometimes you have an idea for something and then if you look at it in an image, it doesn't look good and maybe you can throw it away. But sometimes good ideas they need uh, some time to to, uh, to 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 find their form or to find their their expression. So, I mean, I imagine that for you, uh, I know that you do a lot of competitions and that you have a methodology also of the many competitions you do that. I'm wondering how this process affected this, this methodology. Yeah, well, I, no, I don't, I don't, uh, the fact that we did so many images on, on this project was not disruptive because it was um, more confirming us that uh, we're on the good way. So I, I, you know, the way we work is really that, um, uh, I mean, I don't draw much. I, I draw some aspects that I usually don't, uh, don't uh, draw a project from from A to Z. I, I, I start with something to draw, and then uh, and then uh, and then in the office it, it gets um, it gets uh, developed, and and uh, and then I I I have the task to to judge it to say ah not like this maybe a little bit more like that what about like this what about like that then we try. To, to 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 develop and, and and then when I feel it it's going into the right direction, there can't be enough of, of it. Oh. And and this is the same with the image. If I feel like it's going into the right direction, there can't be enough of it because I, it feels like it, it's it's under development. It's 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 developing. There's more and more and more coming and it's more of nice things coming and it's, it's, it, it, it just proves it's good and it will be even better. And, and we, 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 we want to go ahead with this initial idea and we want to really uh, 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 study it all. Of course, when we have to be honest that, that, that this now what we have here is a bit artificial. Uh, we were not confronted with this many uh, information. But uh, but uh, but uh, this doesn't matter. It, it 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 was a lot of information, but it was information that that uh, that I wouldn't I wouldn't call it disruptive because I would I would say that uh, anyways, if we didn't think we were onto something positive, we would not have put so much effort in it. And 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 uh, so the way we work is that I was kind of trying to to find the. Yeah, the, the way to, to put it into the, the the place where we wanted to to have, but, and and then we need to you know if, if nothing is coming, if there's no production around it, there's nothing coming out. So uh, this is interdependent. We need we need the, we need this uh, collaboration in this, in this uh, sense. But do do you always need? this sort of um, process or this collaboration to go through or it, it depends on the project no i mean we we i would love to if it was always like that but uh, obviously uh, david has his own uh, his own his, 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 his own office and he, he doesn't have always time to mm -hmm. to work so much uh, on, on this and then he's also quite expensive you know yeah, of course of course so, no. uh, <laughs> Of course, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. And, and, uh, and, uh, yeah, and so uh, no, I mean we we 
yeah, we try, we try, uh, yeah, we try as to get as, as much as we can, and 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 but of course, yeah, I think if you if you if you if you if you are on the development side or, or the conception side of of something to make it to make it somewhat real in some ways takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of uh, conviction and effort to, to 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 create something that has that has value and. Mm -hmm. But, but you can also I could I could if somebody gave me a commission to build something, I I could do it with with very few sketches, no, probably. Uh, but uh, this is another thing to to create something that has uh, at the end a presence in itself that 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 maybe could lead to to a new type of architectonic uh, discussion mm. needs needs a lot of effort because mm. it's on paper. Mm. Uh, but if you had a commission that you could, you know, from scratch just build something, probably it would, would, would need less, I guess, I don't know. Uh, so, uh, because there is imagination that would lead to some weird thing, and, and, and uh, I think, yeah, we, we, I mean, I, I, uh, it's not the first time that I'm doing this, so I, I think I could, I could do it with less, but this is not the question. The question no, no. is making a project mm -hmm. that then could, be uh, becoming reality and to convince somebody that this it's should good. be the reality that mm -hmm. they would like to, you know, that, that, that this reality should be the reality that should be the reality uh, is, is, is the task. Mm -hmm. And if it's, if, it's, if, it's, if, it's, if it's simple, then it's simple, but if it's complicated, it's a bit complicated. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I just sent with them because I was, um, we published a book by um, on uh, the video vacini mm -hmm. and he was saying something that is related to what you said david that at one point he stopped drawing because he was falling in love of the mm -hmm. drawing mm -hmm. in itself not in the quality of mm -hmm. the drawing but in the drawing mm -hmm. so he started like designing lying on the sofa thinking mm -hmm. well <laughs> i'm just putting a <laughs> no but this <laughs> but, is uh, this is it's a, it's, a true, it's a true aspect. I, I think you have to also you have to be able to to set yourself some limits when yeah. you when you when you when you do things. At least for me, it's true. And I I need some boundaries mm. within I can I can progress and and uh, and, and work. So it's good to have some let's say the principles you 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 stick to. Maybe sometimes you break them, but mm -hmm. I've. I, I feel more convenient when I have have these kind of restrictions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, also even in also in image making sometimes. Yeah, because everything could be possible yeah. and without any end. And exactly. you can change, yeah, yeah, as you yeah. said, so fast that you can have like. No. So, yeah. so sometimes it's even good when the client tells me how he wants to to do it because then I then. Then um, I can test if it if it works, and then that's it. I mm -hmm. don't have to figure out like a lot of possibilities. Exactly. So it's a bit mm -hmm. a bit uh, a back and forth. It's it's the same. So um, mm -hmm. yeah. and I'm also glad to to work with uh, in this case with an architect like like Jan, and there are also other architects I, I work with that allow this this kind of freedom in the image pr process because um, this business is also considered as. A, as a, so sometimes you are like a business provider, you know, you 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 just produce what the client wants. But this, of course, is the, is the same like everywhere. It's also with a photographer. You have to give some 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 freedom to ex, to express. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is what what happened also in this project. I think it it creates also better architecture and and better image images. I think it's what what you said. It's this for me. It's these two two elements almost developing each other mm -hmm. a bit. This is, uh, yeah, very interesting. Okay. If there are no more questions, I would say thank you. It was very, very interesting and inspiring. And um, yeah, also looking forward to see the publication finish. Yes. And uh, well, thank you to everybody there and here. And have a good night. <laughs> thank you.